got what we needed to at Safeway, called my dad to wish him happy Father's Day. There's a funny part to that conversation. Well, we won't put that on social media. You can use your imagination. Anyway, um, <laughs> we are headed out to Hillsboro. Turn left on Southwest Watkins Avenue. We're go yeah, we're, no, we're gonna go the other way. But um, we're headed to Hillsboro. We're going to a pinball place. It's and Next Level Pinball Museum and Arcade. It's the biggest pinball machine place probably in the United States. It's got over 600 pinball machines and arcades. We haven't played pinball so, or arcade miles. games. Turn right to Oregon 217 North toward Beaverton. Since we were dating, and that's the GPS, sorry. Um, we haven't played um, pinball machines or arcade games of any kind since we were dating. That was 40 years ago, so it's been a really long time. But it ought to be a lot of fun, and we try to do some of these outside the box things. Wow, that's an old Buick station wagon, sorry. Um, we try to do some of these outside the box things, because why not, especially for Father's Day. Um, last year or the year before, I forget now, but we went we went bowling. Like, I haven't been bowling in a long time either. Um, I'm not very good at it. I was never very good at it, but it was fun. Um, so we're gonna go do that and have lunch, and uh, yeah, then go back home and probably watch more of Why Women Kill, because we're kind of hooked and I think we're near the end of the first season and they're about to do a bunch of stuff and I want to see what happens. So anyway, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is a couple minutes before 2 p.m. on Monday, June 20, uh, sorry, June 17th. Um, I'm calling it Unmotivated Monday because up until now, I've been just sitting in my chair watching YouTube. I haven't even been crocheting like you guys, just watching videos. But I did get an idea from a channel I watched recently, and I'll link her channel down below. Um, I guess a pretty well-known Canadian artist. Anyway, I like the way she starts her paintings with canvas that's painted already a background color. So... She chooses red. I'm, I'm doing two different ones. And I mixed some clear gesso up with some pigment powders that I have that I've been trying to use up and came up with this. It's just like one layer of many. And that's drying. I have to catch up on daily drawings because I'm behind again. Um, crocheting to do, always and edit the vlog for Wednesday because I haven't done that yet. And tomorrow's babysitting day, so I better get my rear ending gear. I'll be back. Okay, vlog is edited, loaded, scheduled, computer is shutting down. Um, daily drawings are caught up on as well as daily writing for myself. Done. It's only been a couple of, uh, not even two hours. I can't believe I got all that done. Uh, anyway, <coughs> I'm going <clears> to <throat> sit for a little bit. These are still drying. Um, which is fine, I don't wanna work on them right now. I'm gonna put a couple things away and then I'm going to um, do some crocheting, but also I want to maybe go for a quick walk. So one of those will happen next. Which one? No idea. I'll be back. I'm gonna to listen to some music, out for a walk. Mister has a Masonic thing tonight, so I'm gonna go out and get some steps in now rather than waiting for him to get off of work. And then... Okay, it's the end of the day on Tuesday, June 18th. And it's been babysitting day. And uh, Junior's grown up so fast. 
Anyway, I'm also babysitting tomorrow, but I need to run out early in the morning and head over to Staples. I have two crochet books I want to have spiral bound because it will just be easier to work out of them if they are. And I need to get a, a greeting card for our niece who's having a baby. Um, so I'm going to go do at least the dropping off of the books in the morning. Then I'm babysitting the rest of the afternoon. And then um, I might be off on Thursday. So we'll see. Uh, Sunday Hopefully this weekend. Yeah, but probably we're both babysitting this weekend. Um, Son-in-law's headed out of town. Daughter's working. So she's being single mom. So let's put it this way. If we don't get called for babysitting on at least Saturday, maybe Sunday, I'll be surprised. Surprise. We might be taking Junior to the grocery store, which is fine, but you know, surprise, surprise. it might be a thing. All right, we're gonna go get a few steps in. I'll be back. Cause you know, he twisted my arm. <laughs> I'll be back. I have crocheting to do. Good morning, everybody. It is just about 8.30 a.m. Wednesday, June 19th. Um, I am babysitting again today. It's not my normal day, but all the kids are busy with work and meetings and whatever, and so I am babysitting. But before he comes over, I need to go run some errands. So we're gonna go do that, including take two crochet books over to Staples to be spiral bound. Um, both of them are blanket books, and I wanna start working on um, one of them soon, and it'll just be easier to go through the pattern when when the book is spiral bound. So anyway, um, I also need to run and get a couple of groceries and a greeting card and like just random stuff. So I'm gonna go get that done. I need to be back here by 11. So let's go do it. I'll be back. It is let's see, Thursday, <laughs> June 20th, and Mr. is at 6 p.m. already. Mr. is off to go to a Masonic Lodge thing, uh, and I have the evening to myself. It's just been a decompressed day, all day. Can't say I'm mad about it. I spent most of the day up here in the art room listening to YouTube videos, um, gathering projects, including some canvases on the easel. One of the things I need to do is today's daily drawings, but I got a new stool for my desk, which I love. This is per a perfect situation for sitting in that corner. The folding chair was nice, but it just wasn't working. I have this extra rolly cart and kind of wondering if the stuff on there will fit on here and or if I can consolidate it enough to fit on there and at some point we have to <laughs> maybe even do it real quick tonight my, clo my closet is Lisa's side's a disaster <laughs> it's just really bad so let's get started
rid of much. I got rid of a couple things, but I do think at least for the moment, that's gonna work better even though it's really crowded, but, at le but I can roll it around. So when I'm working on the painting, I can wheel it over, paintings, I can wheel it over here. When I'm not working on it, it can be back up here against the wall and takes up a little bit less space than the shelf. I'm not gonna get rid of the shelf right away because I need to make sure this is gonna work, but I think so. Maybe, we'll see. I found some extra magic erasers, which I actually use for watercolor. I don't really use them for acrylic paint, so they should be over here. So they will be there. Um, I also had a custom cut piece of acrylic for the other shelf uh, because I used to use that for my painting station, but it's perfect for under the printer, which is always like precarious on top of the wires. Anyway, it's better there. All right. Oh, two more baskets to put away. Again, I didn't get rid of a lot, but I think I'm making better use of the space with what I have. That doesn't mean I don't have stuff I can't get rid of. So the next thing will be to go through what is on the cart as I'm painting these and a couple other things and see what else I can get rid of that I really need. Maybe make a couple of purge mystery boxes and do something like that. Would you all be interested in uh, something like that if I had, maybe I should take these things out of the garbage. Um, if I had things that I'm no longer using and that I intended to um, or used to make marks with like these um, in paint or with ink, um, it might include some paint, it might not. Would you be interested in buying a mystery box that had that in it? Let me down. No, let me down. <laughs> Don't let me down. <laughs> let me know in the comments below. All right. <sighs> let me see if I'm done and then on to the next thing. Okay, I have a few projects sewing and otherwise lined up. Is it a lot? Yes. Does it make me happy? Heck yes. Um, got two paintings, technically four sewing projects, one's in the closet, three crochet projects, one sort of ongoing besides the one downstairs. So that's okay. I also have my Mother, deceased mother-in-law. She passed away recently, in case you didn't know. Um, I have her, her recipe book. I need to scan what's in there for the grandkids. I haven't done that yet, but I need to work on that. And yeah, otherwise I'm pretty pleased. Pretty, pretty, pretty pleased. So, all right, I think it's time to go downstairs. I've done my drawings fetch the baby stuff and put it in the storage closet with all the other memorabilia. Um, fetched some things out of the garbage for maybe a mystery box. And in fact, I've got some tubes of metallic paints I never use, so they might be in, anyway. Um, yeah, I think I can turn things off up here and go downstairs, work on my daily puzzles, and um, have some iced coffee, work on my sweater. I'm working on crocheting actually tank top. So I'm gonna do that. I'll be back. I'm gonna share with you an idea. I'll link the video below, but I follow this um, sewist here on YouTube and she does all kinds of interesting fun stuff sewing wise. She recently made what she's calling a library skirt library skirt. I think that's what she called it. A skirt with a bunch of pockets for books. And it turned out so cute. It looked so great on her. It made me think, what about a skirt full of pockets for art supplies or yarn balls? 
Might be a future project, because now it's bugging me. All right, I'll be back. Hey everybody, you are very precariously perched on the dashboard. Anyway, we'll see if you stay there. Uh, it's just before 9 a.m. Friday, June 21st. And I think I've said repeatedly in the past, son-in-law is doing a lot of traveling right now for work and otherwise. Um, his mom being sick, so that's part of the traveling. Anyway, he is leaving actually tonight for Asia. And I am doing extra babysitting to help out this afternoon and tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm gonna head out. I've gotta pick up some stuff. It's family dinner night, it's Friday. So I need to pick up a few things at the store. So we're gonna go, sorry, there we are, hi. We're gonna go get that done. And then maybe have time for some crocheting before he gets here, we'll see. I'm supposed to get a phone call in a little bit when he goes down for a nap, so we'll see. I don't know. In the meantime, let's go get some groceries and I'll be back. It is Saturday, June 22nd. I only know that because I was just journaling, as you saw. Um, I haven't written anything in my um, one spread I just showed you uh, yet for today because it's morning and I've barely started my day. So there's that. Um, I did do a little bit of straightening up in here. I have some alterations to a cat bed right there that I need to do for some of the kids. Um, not sure if I just need to make it taller or if they want it a little bit wider. I need to find out some more details today then I can whip that out pretty quickly. I need to clean off what's supposed to be the tool desk. It's kind of, that's all my stuff. So I need to kind of move some things. What are you gonna do? Anyway. I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna go downstairs and do some crocheting before Junior gets here because I am babysitting for about an hour or so this morning. Um, and it's kind of a fam another family day. So we're gonna maybe go to the balloon festival, but we're gonna be going, gonna be spending the day with the kids. Um, not exactly sure what we're doing. Um, the girls and I might go shopping or thrifting or I, I I don't even I'm along for the ride you guys I don't have any idea otherwise <laughs> all right that's it for the minute all right let me do some straightening up I'll be by stuff cleared off the desk that's the tool desk and occasionally aka rarely where Bob builds like model cars and stuff um he and adopted son-in-law I think are going to start doing more of that which means I have to share the art room. <laughs> it's okay. Totally okay. Anyway. All right. I think that's up it up here. I need to catch up on some social media posts because I'm way behind again. And put this away. And I think that's it. I think we can go downstairs and wait for Junior. I do have Grand Dog with me. So anyway, I think that's it. All right, I'll be back.
It is 10.40 p.m. on Saturday. P.m. It's been a long day. Um, I've said previously, son-in-law is out of town and for work in Asia. So we are helping extra with Junior. And mommy being a real estate agent means that she has a very crazy, uh, inconsistent schedule. So, um... Hopefully I get some time off this week so I can just do my own thing, but I, it's no guarantee. Um, anyway, I went over today, well, I babysat here this morning and then daughter and adopted daughter came over, adopted daughter's grandmother's passed away and she inherited a bunch of jewelry. So we went through that and helped her make some choices about some of those things. Um, and so she kept what she felt she liked and that was important and the rest is getting donated. And then I'm like, you know, you're both here. Can we go through my jewelry box? Because I don't know if I've done that since I moved. There was stuff in there that needed to go. Um, so we did that. And um, that was a lot of fun. Had some coffee, hung out. And then everybody went their own ways. Um for the rest of the afternoon, well, most of the rest of the afternoon, uh, Bob and I had a late lunch and daughter, birth daughter bought a piece of furniture on Facebook Marketplace for her living room, husband's out of town in Asia. So we both went over to her house. She and my husband went and, go, went and picked it up. I babysat the baby. Um, on their way over there, we got baby some allergy meds. Hopefully they help. And um, anyway, got that piece of furniture back to her house, got it all rearranged and all of that stuff. And then we came back after grocery shopping. <laughs> Just had dinner at like eight o'clock. <laughs> um, I did manage to get a few crochet, rows of crocheting on the sweater uh, tank top thing I'm working on and I already have ways in my head of how I want to style it and wear it so I do want to get it finished um, but it is taking a long time because my schedule and um, the yarn and like all the things like so but that's okay um, you know sometimes in life you know you want to spend all day every day in your creative space but you just can't and you know you want to spend time with a family that's really important the people that you love that's why I love having sort of a go bag when I went to go babysit this afternoon I didn't know if I was going to have time to crochet if he was going to be napping or wait so I brought my bag with me it was already packed it was on the couch I just zipped it up and grabbed it and brought it with me um so I do recommend that you do that or if you're like a friend of mine who's currently selling her house and everything is sort of staged and proper and they can't really mess anything up because they could get called you know on a five minute notice um I said and she's missing doing anything creative I said you know what pack a go bag like if you were traveling and just whatever you're working on have it be in there and then when you get those phone calls you just take any parts of it that you have out dump it in the bag and go um so hopefully she's going to do that. But yeah, it's it's tough sometimes. And uh, this last year, babysitting for the kids has been great. I love it so much. Uh, there's a cute picture that I can't really share online because privacy reasons. But there's a picture of him that you can picture in your head. Um, he and his um, four-legged sister, Lily. You all have seen Lily on the, on the uh, channel. Um, crazy pants, Lily, grand dog, um, are both sitting up on the couch, looking over the back of the couch, out the front window of their house, watching us get in our truck and drive away. It is so sweet. So sweet. Anyway, we're going to go back there tomorrow for an hour or so, uh, cause she's got a sh another house to show to a client. So we're going to go over there tomorrow afternoon. And in the meantime, in the morning, we're just going to hang out at the house, get a couple of things done here. Um, Mister's going to put the baby's car seat that we have, that we have here in my car because 
I'm going to need it in my car next week. And yeah, it's just, we're going to just get stuff like that done. Just stay at the house and get stuff done. I'm okay with that. We might go out of town for a few days right before 4th of July. Or so that might be a thing too. So anyway, I hope it gives you some ideas of how you can work the creative things that you want to do into everyday life. It's not always easy, but it definitely is worth it. Sometimes if you're art journaling, you just take these with you, you stuff them in your purse, and wherever you're going, you do a quick something. Sometimes that's just, that's all you can do. Nothing wrong with that. So whatever it is, whatever you love doing, figure out how to simplify it, get it into a bag that's easily portable, and just take it with you. Don't worry about doing things in public and what are, you know, people are going to stare at me. Who cares? You know, get more comments about, oh, that's so cool than I do anything else. So, you know, maybe you might inspire somebody. That's a great thing. So I'm going to write my thoughts about today into my journal that I've, I've been doing for a few months now. And I'm um, I'm going to shut everything off and go downstairs, maybe watch one more video or do another row of crochet and then go to bed because it's late. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Relevant links are in the comments um, below, uh, in the description below. Uh, questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave those down there. I reply to all of them, or at least I try. And um, yeah. Support the free content here on YouTube if you can by joining my Patreon. Speaking of which, I've got to work on the posts for July for them. For them. I promise I'll, do, I'll figure out when to do it this week, you guys. I promise, I promise, I promise. I also have a des stencil design up here that I'm going to try to do and share. Anyway, um, they get copies of stencil designs. and I don't cut stencils anymore, but um, they get copies of the designs. And if they want to cut them, cool. Anyway. Um, that's it for now. Go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys.